Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. So this video was really requested. It is a my fitness journey video, as you've seen from the title. My fitness journey started in grade 11, but I would say definitely took off for my grade 12 year. Grade 11 was when I started with my personal trainer at the beginning of the year. And then I trained with him three times a week all through grade 11. And then I went to my cottage for the summer of grade 12. And then grade 12, I was still with my trainer, but then I also got into working out on my own. A little backstory on everything besides the working out part. I would say that my biggest problem when trying to really get on track with my fitness was sticking to a plan. I always was self-conscious in my body but I would come to short-term conclusions. For example, okay, it's okay, I'll get back on track, I just won't have carbs starting Monday. Or I just won't have any candy, any ice cream starting Tuesday. And then maybe that would last one day or two days and then I just get back to my old habits. I would go to the store, get like a pack of when it comes with like four chalk bars, have all that in one sitting just like right before dinner. Never really would be hungry for my real meals that my family had prepared for me and stuff because I had just been snacking and basically inhaling junk food all throughout the day. That was a really long cycle. For months I would be doing that, just eating absolutely anything and everything in sight and then would feel sort of self-conscious about it and then decide that I was gonna do some, okay, I'm gonna be vegan. This is actually a specific time I remember. It was in the summer. This was, must have been like four or five years ago. At dinner, or maybe it was even after dinner, I was like, Okay, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be a vegetarian. Not that that makes you any healthier by not having meats, but I said that tomorrow I was going to be vegetarian. And then breakfast rolls around the next morning and it was pancakes and bacon and I had bacon. So there went my beginning to being a vegetarian. And that's just a little example of just things that was constantly happening. I would never actually ever stick to any of these plans. I don't even know the longest I did any of them. Honestly, there's no way any of my little ideas for getting onto a fitness journey lasted more than a week. Like honestly, probably two days if anything. So that was just pretty rough, I would say, because I was never really happy in my skin, but I never really wanted to do anything about it. I was always playing sports. I played hockey, soccer, basketball, volleyball. I liked running sometimes. Overall, I did like a bunch of sports, and I was active. I would love to do those with my friends or family or anything but it would be when I would just go out to shoppers probably honestly every day and just get tons of food and always just eating to the extent where I would feel sick. There was never really a satisfied feeling after a meal. And obviously some months weren't as extreme as the others. I can't speak on behalf of the past four years and say that every single day I was eating myself to the point I felt sick, but as like in the grand scheme of things, that was basically how it went. My advice for you is if you are one of those people, cause I know that is a pretty common thing where it's like, oh, I'm gonna start this no carb or keto or no this, no that, only eating up from this time to this time. Don't, do not do that. It will not work, it will not last. It will just lead to a binge. If you wanna cut out this, 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 and this, until when? Until when is it gonna be, okay, now I can have this. And then when you can have it, you're just going to want to indulge and just have so, so much of it. So what I've learned over the process of a very long journey is keep it well balanced. Like that's how it's going to be sustainable. Have well balanced, proper nutrition, high protein, some fruit, veg, carbs, everything into your diet and all your meals. And then... When you want some chocolate, have a piece of chocolate. When you're at your friend's birthday party, have cake. If you want to go out for an ice cream, go have an ice cream. It's not a make or break. One ice cream every other day or however so often you want to have it is not going to kill you. Just the same as if you're just craving to have, sometimes you randomly just want something. 
and to just have the freedom to give yourself what it is craving is just such a simple thing that will lead to you having a sustainable healthy lifestyle the way to see long-term results and none of these crass diets or like juice cleanses celery juice or lemon and ginger and apple cider vinegar is the key to weight loss like none of that just be healthy don't be too crazy just enjoy what you can don't limit yourself to a nice night out with your friends because you can't have the keto option if you go out for a restaurant just live food isn't supposed to be something that you live your life around live your life and food will be incorporated in it however it is but it's not something that you want to get obsessive about because it's just a never-ending cycle. Food will always be there, will always be here, and now it decides what you want to make the most of it. Wow. This is like kind of turning into like an inspirational speech. <laughs> this isn't what I meant. But everyone is asking about like my fitness journey and like what I've done or what are some tricks. Another thing I would say is there's no fast, easy way to it. There's no tips or tricks. like. You ought to just put in the work. It's a very, very long, long haul. Some people can lose weight or get toned or whatever physique update you're trying to change. Some, it will take more time than others. It honestly depends a person. But just the biggest thing, and I will say this and say this and say this, is if you really are wanting this to be a lifetime goal or result, not just so you can look good in that bikini this summer. No, like not just a bikini body. You have to want to feel good in your own skin and feeling good just makes you feel better, makes you wanna go do things. That It has to be for the right reasons that you want it and then it'll be easier to stay on track with your goals and realize why you're doing it rather than shouldn't be for anyone else, shouldn't be to look good for anyone else. It should be because you want this and that is your motivation is because you want to be the best version of yourself you can. It's also one of those things that takes time. It's not just like overnight you get into this amazing lifestyle and you just know what you want, when you want, and no binges, no craving this, or just going off when you're craving something. Obviously, it takes a lot of time. I've been learning and learning over the past four years, and now I'm finally in obviously you're never in the perfect spot but if there was something close to it i would say that that's where i found myself now like i definitely am just so happy with my routine now my overall lifestyle my intuitive eating however you want to call it i've definitely just found like the perfect balance for me I know what I want, I'll always eat what I want, I'll always go celebrate with my friends, I'm always down to, you know, have some cake and pizza, Friday nights, always gotta have that late night muck, if you know what I mean. And then not be mad about it, not regret it the next day, or feel shitty with yourself, like no, this is just life. That's one night of your whole being. No more beating yourself up is the point of what I'm saying is, you are just living your life. Every day may seem like the biggest thing, or if you have this one thing, it's gonna be like the end of the world. But no, think about all the time and all the days and all the meals and all the snacks that you're gonna be having. So, back to my fitness journey. Basically, although I, these past few years, was like getting into these workouts or working out with my trainer, definitely in grade 11, that was when it's really started to progress better than in other years. Because also, other years, let's I would say, okay, I'm gonna run like a marathon. So all you gotta do is run 10K today, 15K the next day, 20K the next day, and then I'll be good. It was just, in my mind, I would be coming up with all these situations that were just perfect. Oh, all I have to do is this, and like, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, it's not as easy as just going out and running 20 kilometers. So basically, when I started, when I stopped imagining these situations and actually just doing them and seeing what my body was capable of, that was when I started actually having results. So just to kind of conclude this video and wrap up all the thoughts, and if there would be one thing to take from this video, it is this. It is that after all these years of trying these different things, unsustainable crash diets or these workouts that would maybe last one day of me running however many kilometers, 
or whatever this girl and I'm sure a lot of you guys can come up with. At the end of the day, it's just a sustainable, healthy lifestyle. From being to where I was here, which was just stuffing my face every single second of the day, honestly just going to shoppers and getting bags of chips, bags of chocolate bars, bags of candy, and just coming home and eating all of that. So yes, I was still playing hockey, but that wasn't covering the fact that I was just literally eating the amount of someone who would should be like 700 pounds <laughs> and then versus this which is what where i am now and i just feel like a totally different version of myself i'm just so happy with who i am where i am now all the things i do it just i can just literally live like whatever i want to do now and food is just that happens to be a part of life now and when I want to have a snack, I'm going to have a snack. When I want a salad, I'm going to have a salad. And that's just how it should be. And that's where I am now. And I'm so happy that I can say that now. And it all kind of came about at the perfect time. I'm a graduate now. So on to just new and better things. Every day I'm learning things. So I'm definitely not an expertise by any means. I have so much to learn. I'm so excited to just keep learning about overall health, nutrition, wellness, everything. And I'm also so excited to share things that I learned with you guys. So make sure you subscribe so you can keep seeing videos. And as I learn more information and stuff that I think is beneficial for you guys, I'll definitely be posting and sharing. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And click like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.